Hey, this is Darcy from The Conscious Builder. This is part two of our Ottawa South kitchen renovation. If you missed part one, check down in the description where you'll find a link to us starting the demo and fixing the foundation. So we've started the restructuring here. Um, we started on this back wall. First thing we had to do we had to get a steel lintel in here to pick up uh, the brick above, uh, up there behind the house wrap. Uh, it's a pretty simple job. You, uh, you start by grinding out your mortar and you start by uh, pushing your steel lintel in. You gotta be pretty careful. You don't wanna obviously push over the stuff above. Once we get it in there and supporting the brick, we can then go to the outside, grind out a little bit more mortar and push it in all the way. So it's in nice and tight with no gap in behind there. Uh, we do stick in the house wrap from this side just to try to keep that moisture out and then for this area here uh, another layer will go lap up here and then down and out so we have positive lap of our house wrap uh, so once that was done we could start with the restructuring of the floor system we've got some adjustable hss's here um, they are about twelve thousand pounds of uh, of allowable load um, one on either side on top of it, we've got a steel beam that is a W200 by 27. Uh, and all it's gonna be doing is picking up the larger steel beam that's going in uh, next week. Um, a small amount of uh, two by eight up there, that is not necessary for the structure of the house. That was purely done for our temporary structuring while we worked on this area. So that was put up there with some temporary posts. Um, and then once we put this up, it's no longer needed, but obviously there's no point in taking it down. It is adding strength to the back wall of the house. Um, these carry down onto foundation, uh, onto concrete. Originally we were hoping for these to be wood posts onto concrete. It wasn't able to happen due to how the foundation is poured in this house. It's a little strange. The floor joists are keyed in with the brick sitting on a about a four inch sill um, that doesn't line up with the foundation height. So we had two different heights of foundation. We had to bring them up to level and then lay our plate across them. So that's all been done. So we're all structured now. Engineer's already been by to take a look at it. Um, he seemed happy. Uh, he'll be by again once the main beam goes in. Uh, we're getting started on that, but it will be next week until the beam goes in. The steel beam is going to be resting on an HSS post. This is the first one. It goes down onto a new concrete footing. Samir, you want to grab that and just help me uh, put it back on the ground? Perfect, thank you. So we're down here in the basement. This is that HSF, HSS that's coming from the basement to pick up the second one. Um, we're down here. We had to do a new footing uh, in the basement. This was a 42 by 42 by eight inch uh, with five 10 m bar each way about three inches up from dirt uh, it was specced as a 30 mpa concrete um, we ended up doing it with bag mix uh, and we did it with about a 40 mpa just because 30 isn't available in the neighborhood we get 25 and then we jump to 40. Um, so this is carrying the load from that that big beam all the way down to the basement it'll be bolted into the concrete here and then a second steel HSS will go from here up and pick up the large beam. Uh, it's sitting outside right now in the bin, uh, just as a great place to store it. It'll carry across back to this one. And it has what's called a cope joint, which is where the one steel beam has the pretty much the top and bottom flanges cut off. And it will rest into this space here and then be fully welded along with the HSSs that are getting fully welded. The HSSs on the other end of the beam, again, fully welded. Um, after that, the floor will be, have been restructured. All of these walls are redundant and they will all come out um, and will be a, have a nice open concept in here. Hey, this is Darshan, The Conscious Builder. On the next episode, we're going to be installing the steel beam, so don't miss that. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, go ahead and do that. And thanks for watching.